Hi guys, this is the end of the following lecture, okay? So, what I wanted to say is that you can find the starter code on the GitHub. Of course, uh, now the repository is private. Later on, it will be public when I publish uh, this course. So, in order to get this starter uh, code, you need to press on the branches and you can find it on the starter app here, okay? So, you can clone this link or um, you know how to clone it, okay? And moreover, you can find attached also a zip file to each lecture. So, uh, what, so what I basically do is to add the lib usually, for example, and the assets and the popspec.yaml file and compress it to a zip file. And this file, you can use it as a reference and you can paste it in your application directly or, or compare it if you don't want to use the final code from GitHub. Okay, so I will put these data online, so you will have access to it. Now, enjoy the next lecture. Hi guys, and welcome to this lecture. In this tutorial, we will set up the structure of our application, and we will add the required images, and we will edit the theme. Okay, so let's get started with the theme. And to know more about it, I already have also a video on my YouTube channel in here on how to implement dark and light theme. This video is 30 minutes where I explain the theme and how to use it in details. And you will be able to do multiple themes and different themes. Okay, so I strongly recommend you to watch it before starting with this lecture. Now, I will close this. And before that, we started changing the code. I want to tell you that I added the images and the asset folder, then images, and here we have three different images. So we have the chat logo, we have the OpenAI logo, and we have the person logo. So we will be using these three images later on. And of course, and in order to be able to use it, we need to add it to the pubspec.yml file. Uh, we need to add the path just like that okay now let's get back to our code in the main and for the theme let's start doing our work so I will delete all of this save it and now let's add the scaffold background color so for the scaffold background color we need to use just the same color as the chat GPT Okay, so now what I'm going to do is to show you here. Here's the chat GPT. So I will consider here this, uh, this area is the scaffold background color and this color is the card color. So what we can do is to create a constant file and the lib here, the dirt, and then we will need to define the scaffold background color and the card color. So I will just copy it and paste it here and of course, we need to import the material package, okay? So now I will copy this, get back to the main.dart file, paste it here, and import the constants class, and add semicolon here, and restart the application. And as you can see, the scaffold background color directly got changed, okay? We have this home page is being used here. In order to change the scaffold background color, you can add in here background color and choose any other color that you want okay so this is i explained in details and the tutorial i showed you here okay so make sure to watch it now let's uh, continue our work so for the theming here we need to add the upper theme also so what can we do is basically add a bar in here, a bar theme, and then we define the a bar theme just like that. And what I want to do is to give it the color, which is will be the card color, okay? Just like that. Of course, you can add uh, things like elevation, background color, um, and so on. In my case, I will just keep it like that. One more last thing, I hate this banner, so I will just remove it. In our case, we can add uh, the debug for the material app. So in here, 
we say the bug show checked mod banner and put it equal to false. Now let's set up the structure of our files. So we will, I will create a folder named screens and this is will handle the main screens on our application. Second, I will create a new folder called models and this is will handle the models for our application. The third one will be the providers file. This is will be for the state management. The fourth one will be the constant. Like that. And this constants will handle our application constants. Okay. So I will move this file to it like that. Then we will need the services. And these services, for example, later on, we will create an API service, a service and um, an asset manager service. And you will see why we will use the asset manager later. Okay. So for example, let's say here, um, services like that. And yes, this is uh, all actually. Okay. So I prefer this structure and uh, it is the best for me. It's, uh, it's very clear to understand. And um, you can also add another folder which is called uh, widgets. And this is will handle the global widgets for your application. Okay, so before that I end this tutorial, I will just create one file and the services, which is I will name it the assets manager.dart. Okay, so basically this file we will edit and manage our images okay so in our case we have these three images so i will copy this path come here and create a class called assets manager like that and in here let's initialize the static so that we can call later on the class name and call the name of the variable here so i will define a string and name it image path and now paste what I have like that and uh, of course it's gonna be a string and I will remove this forward slash and now we can initialize the path for all of the images so what I'm gonna do is to cut this uh, copy this I mean and then here I will define the user image and then we can get this image path like that and then add the forward slash here and then the first image is the person image okay so we can add it just like that we do the same thing for the other two images so this one it will be the open ai logo and the last one will be the bot image so i will uh, add it like that and uh, that's it okay so uh let us delete and the main file let's get rid of this file and let's add a new file in here and let's uh, name it the chat screen which is will be our main screen so in here let's add a stateful widget like that and let's name it uh, chat screen and in here we need to add a scaffold and then we need to give it the body and as a body i will show a an image for example so to display it i will display it in the center so let's give it in here an image dot asset and now we can we can call our class that we defined here and then we need of course to import it so once we import it we can get our images like that here okay now if i remove this static from here i won't be able to use it okay um even if i comment yes for example and i try to use it here i can't okay so it must be static like that now if i come here i will have these suggestions so let's show for example the open ai logo like that and then let's uh, copy this name and instead of this widget let's return our widget and of course we need to import it like that now I will start the application and let's see what will happen. Okay, so here it is. We have the scaffold background color and we have this image is showing like that. Okay, so later on in the next tutorial, we will proceed by building the chat screen. 
I'll see you there.